I want to thank all of you for being here tonight. This is a fantastic turnout, really. And the fact that you all are here is another indication of how well we're doing, how this movement is quickly <laughs> gathering steam. Um, again, my name is Dan Beats. I'm a lawyer from Columbia, Missouri. I've worked with primarily through NORML, the National Organization for Reform of Marijuana Laws, for um, a little over 40 years, actually. Uh, I, uh, for about the last 27 years, I've been an attorney representing mostly people charged with, with drug offenses, mostly marijuana offenses, throughout the state of Missouri. Um, I worked with the ACLU, as I mentioned earlier, for many years, and I'm still involved with that group. Um, it's been, uh, you know, it's been a long haul. And back in about 1968, just before Normal was first created, uh, the Gallup poll was showing that there was a whole 12% of Americans that agreed with, with normal, that agreed that marijuana laws uh, needed to be uh, reformed, agreed that basically that prohibition needed to be repealed. Um, and again, I still think our best sound bite is what we want to do is tax and regulate marijuana like alcohol. And when people say, well, how are you going to do this? And how are you going to do that? And about those questions that they come up with, the answer almost always is, well, we're going to do that like we do with alcohol. You know, we're going to license and we're going to regulate the people who sell marijuana and they're going to have to card people just like folks who sell tobacco and alcohol do today. We'll do our best to keep it out of the hands of young people. No, it won't be perfect. Some young people will still get their hands on marijuana, but frankly, you know, honestly among us, they're going to be healthier using that than they would be using tobacco or alcohol, that's for sure. Um, but the fact is, uh, the people who are going to be in the business of retailing marijuana are going to have to act like serious business people. They're going to have to conduct themselves in a responsible manner, and they're going to have to collect taxes. And the taxes, I mean, nobody that I know of really likes taxes, and, and we're, not, we're not enamored of taxes uh, as a matter of principle, but the truth is that the government is very dependent on tax money, and that uh, once, the de once the government uh, develops this dependency once they get addicted to the money that will come in from cannabis revenue then it's unlikely that uh, prohibition will ever return so in this case we've been begging to get taxed for decades and and we're just about to get our wish uh, out, out in Colorado I'm sure most folks here know that as of January 1 uh, 22 days ago uh, history was made the first marijuana was sold at retail legally in America since about 1937 and uh, that has gone very well. And I, I've not heard any media account that didn't agree that, uh, that Colorado is implementing legalization, implementing specifically retail sales uh, very smoothly, very well. Um, it, it's important, I think, to remember, and, and many of the media didn't seem to grasp the fact, that the cultivation and the personal possession of marijuana have been legal in Colorado since December of 2012. So the only thing that's really new in the past few weeks here is that the, the retailing of cannabis to adults um, through primarily through what had been exclusively medical marijuana retail establishments, so-called dispensaries. Uh, and many of those dispensaries now have also begun to retail uh, cannabis to adults in general. You don't have to have a doctor's recommendation. If you're over 21, uh, you can purchase cannabis, not in unlimited amounts but in amounts that are sufficient to supply uh, anyone's personal needs uh, for a uh, reasonable period of time, I'm not sure there's any restriction realistically on the number of times you can purchase cannabis. As far as I know, there isn't. And my understanding is people who are residents of Colorado can purchase up to an ounce at a time. People who are not residents of the state can only purchase a quarter ounce at a time. But again, I'm not aware of any restriction on how many times you can do that. So in effect, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a reasonably good law. Um, people